Chemical Kinetics, Part 9, Integrated Rate Law for Second Order Reactions. Here's a sheet with all the important equations that you would need to do calculations for kinetics. And in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can take the differential rate law for a second order reaction and integrate it to get the integrated rate law for a second order reaction. You do not have to do calculus to be able to do chemical kinetics. We're just showing this so that you can understand where the integrated rate law comes from, that it's rooted in some math. So this is for a second order reaction where we have a single reactant A forming products. The differential rate law says the rate of the uh, reaction is equal to K, the rate constant, times the concentration of A squared. The rate of the reaction is always equal to a negative of the slope of a concentration versus time graph. Or we could say negative of the derivative of concentration over time. So let's make these two expressions of rate equal to each other. Let's rearrange that equality so that we can separate the variables. On the left we have d concentration of A divided by concentration of A squared. And on the right hand side we have negative k dt. We're going to integrate from a lower limit of 0 to an upper limit of t, dA over the concentration of A squared. And on this side, we're going to integrate from 0 to t, negative k dt. We can factor 1 over the concentration of A squared out there. And we can factor the negative k outside of the integral sign. What is? the integral of the inverse of concentration squared. Well, it turns out to be negative 1 over concentration at time t minus a negative of 1 over the concentration of uh, a at time 0. We already factored out the negative k, and the derivative from 0 to t dt is t minus 0. The right-hand side here solves out to be negative kt. We multiply both sides of the uh, equation by negative 1. And when we do that, we end up with the inverse of concentration at time t minus the inverse of concentration at time 0 plus, I'm sorry, equal to kt. Remember, we have to multiply that by negative 1. Multiplying these, switch them around, change signs rearrange this equation and you end up with 1 over the concentration of A at time t is equal to kt plus 1 over the concentration of A at time 0. Now that's equal to a slope intercept form of an equation where this is the y value, t is the x value, k, and notice that's positive, is the slope, and 1 over the concentration of A at time 0 is the y-intercept B. Now that means that for a second order reaction with this slope-intercept version of the integrated rate law, if we graph out the inverse of concentration of A at time t versus time, we're going to get a straight line. Again, that's a straight line slope-intercept form of an equation. So we're going to get a straight line. The slope is going to be k, right? It's positive slope here, so it's going to angle upwards. And the y-intercept is going to be this expression, the inverse of the concentration of A at time 0, or the inverse of the initial concentration. The concentration of A at time 0 is also known as the initial concentration, so we have the inverse of the initial concentration there. Again, the integrated rate law relates concentration to time.